and Charles will take a look at this Charger club entering play here. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And the offense. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Throwing to Stevens. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. Again with a juke. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Again, it's Taylor. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38 yard line. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, with their stop. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for Las Vegas first down. Now Stevens. That's caught by Waller out left side. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Of note, that last throw right there, putting him over 3,000 yards passing now for the year. And when you start running the numbers in your head and realize that we're not halfway done with the season yet, you think to yourself, could this be a 6,000-yard season? That's definitely on the table. Steven setting up to throw it. Now he's got it. Touchdown! Devontae Adams with career touchdown number 96. He joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Raiders are on the board first here this afternoon. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator and oh, remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. He threw his league best 35th touchdown pass of the year on that last drive. And they'll start here on first and 10. Here's Stevens to throw. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He'll dump this off to Taylor complete. Only able to gain a couple there. And now third down and six to go. These two teams all tied after one. with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up they are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains on third down here's taylor and some space here 42 yards rushing for him now and he's carried the ball just five times i definitely like the play call you don't expect it on third and five third and six do you you expect the pass play had a little courage there to call the run and boy they were successful on first down, Stevens. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. And they'll work this down inside the 30. So, Charles, you know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level. 7-0. And we're still a long ways 
just from discussing a potential unbeaten season, I think. But to use a golf expression, no blemishes on the card, at least to this point. Yeah, unlike my teenage years where there were blemishes everywhere and the dermatologist was on speed dial. But I do think that they're going to have to start answering questions about this start if they keep winning games. You and I both know, we in the media, we'll start to obsess about it and wonder, can they take it all the way to an undefeated season? Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Taylor will take this one in for a Vegas touchdown. So another rushing touchdown for him this year. Boy, he's found the end zone quite a bit so far. Charles, that now an even 20 scores on the season. And you know how often we use the term, probably I overuse the term, imposing their will? Well, these defenses have become really powerless to stop him. That's what we've seen from him and his team this year. You know he's getting the ball down here in the red zone, but he's just got that strength of will himself, and he's used it to great effect. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. On first and ten, Stevens. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Devontae Adams. His second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Looking to throw on second down. Stevens. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. A gain of five. And now it's third and three. On the draw is Taylor. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout called for by the defense. get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes. <laughs> Throwing on first down. Stevens got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he'll be corralled Stevens well upfield right around the 40 yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. Operating from the gun, Stevens. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And he'll go out of bounds, Stevens it appears, right at the 45. Let's go! On second down, it's Taylor. 
he move? And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On first down, Stevens. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So here are the Raiders now to take over. They've got the lead right now. And remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. They find some open field here. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Jonathan Taylor. That's rushing touchdown number 20 on the year as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Throwing to start the drive. Stevens. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. A gift for Taylor running right side. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. 146 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. On first and 10, Stevens to the right side, complete to Taylor. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Looking to throw. Stevens, the open man here, Renfro. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. It's a quarterback sneak. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Second and goal from the one. They'll go with the keeper. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Raiders are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead.
And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. And now here come the Raiders. First and ten, Taylor now. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 39. This offense on third down today, they've been okay two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I want him out. They tend to leave him in. To throw on second down, Stevens. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. You have confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter, and Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams, and that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late game. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Here we go, set! They'll start on the ground here on first down. To about the 40-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to pull that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. 173 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. From the gun, it's Taylor. And some room to work. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Raiders are going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it a big way and getting their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Up the middle, here's Taylor. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call. 
That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. supported by both sides of the ball.